Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 921, minimum add to make parentheses valid. If you haven't seen my video on minimum remove to make parentheses valid, I'd highly recommend you watch that video first, because a lot of the concepts that we're going to use to solve this problem are actually going to be used in that problem, uh, and in parentheses questions in general. So you should watch that one first, or you can watch this one again, although some of the explanations may not be as detailed because we went into quite uh, depth in that question. That being said, let's read the question prompt. You are given a parentheses string s. In one move, you can insert a parentheses at any position of the string. For example, if s equals left parentheses, right parentheses, right parentheses, right parentheses, you can insert an opening parentheses um, or a closing parentheses at that point. Okay, that's a terrible example. Leak code should really prove for these. Um, return the minimum example of moves required to make S valid. So essentially what we want to do is we're given a string S and we want to insert the minimum number of parentheses we can for it to be a valid parentheses string. And remember that a valid parentheses string is simply a string whose who all left parentheses are closed by right parentheses and vice versa. So... The approach that we're going to take to solve this problem is actually really similar to the approach we used for minimum remove uh, to make a valid parentheses in that we want to go from left to right of our string and we're going to keep track of a left count and we're going to keep track of a right count and this is going to keep track of you know the number of left parentheses we've seen and the number of right parentheses we've seen and this time we're going to keep track of the number of parentheses we had to add so this is initially going to be zero obviously we haven't seen any and this is zero and then obviously added is also going to be zero so what we want to do here is we want to go from left to right and every time we see a left parenthesis, we're going to take it in a greedy manner. The reason for this is if we don't take a left parenthesis and it turns out we needed it later, there's no way for us to go back. So we have to take all the left parentheses that we see because we don't know whether they will be closed later on in the string. We can only assume that they would be, but we can't be for certain. Whereas with a right parenthesis, we always know if a right parenthesis is valid or not. So if we look at the first um, example here we have a left parenthesis then we have a right parenthesis and we know that this right parenthesis is valid because it has a left parenthesis before it that closes it and here the left count you know is one and the right count is also one then when you get to the second one we can see that because left count is actually equal to right count if we took this parenthesis here then we would no longer have a valid string because there is no left parenthesis to close it in this case, what we need to do when we have something like this, where we can't take a right parenthesis, then this is the case where we need to add a left parenthesis to close it. And then we're simply going to continue through our string and close any right parenthesis that should not have been opened in the first place. So every time we get to a right parenthesis and the right count is not strictly less than the left count, then what we have to do is add a parenthesis. And in this case, we're not going to count it uh, as part of the right count. Then when we get to the end, like I said, you know, we're going to be taking parentheses in a greedy manner, right? So if we look at, you know, example two, you know, we would take three left parentheses. So at the end, our left would be three. But obviously, you know, we don't have a valid parentheses string because there's none to, um, to close it. And in this case, right would be zero. So at the end, what we want to do is to whatever we've added throughout the string, we want to add, you know, the difference between uh, the current left count and the right count. So that will account for all of those right parentheses that we took in a greedy manner and then we'll add them back at the end because we never should have taken them in the first place and we need to close them with their corresponding right parentheses. So that's the algorithm that we want to use. It's relatively simple. We're just going to go from left to right. Every time we see a left parenthesis, we're going to increment our left count by one. Every time we see a right parenthesis, if the left count is strictly less than the right count then we say our count you know plus one otherwise that right parenthesis is not valid and we're simply going to add one to our added count and continue we're not going to increment right count when the uh, left count is actually less than the right count so or actually yeah 
uh, or less than or equal to, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant to say. Um, and in that case, we're gonna add one to added. And then at the very end, the last thing we need to do is just account for all of the extra lefts that we may have taken greedily by adding the difference between the left count and the right count uh, at the very end. And that's how you're gonna come up with your solution. And that's gonna be the minimum amount of parentheses that you need to add. So hopefully that made sense. If it didn't, when we go into the code editor, you're gonna see it line by line. And you know, when we submit it, you're gonna see that this is actually the you know best solution we have here. Um, so you know, you can be rest assured that this is the algorithm that you want to use uh, in your interview. So we're gonna go over to the code editor, write the code, and submit it. Make sure that it works. Okay, I'll see you there. We're in the code editor now. Let's write the code. Remember, we're gonna need a left count, we're gonna need a right count, and we're gonna need to keep track of the amount of parentheses that we've added so far when we're doing our iteration. So let's set up those variables. We're gonna say left count equals to right count equals to added, which is gonna be equal to zero. Now, remember what we need to do is we need to go left, uh, left to right from in our string. So we're gonna say for character in S, we're gonna say if the character equals to a left parenthesis, Remember that we increment our left count and we take it greedily. So we're gonna say L count plus equals to one. Otherwise, we have a right parenthesis. And remember, we can only take the right parenthesis and increment right count if left count is strictly greater than the right count. So we're gonna say if R count is less than L count, then what we wanna do here is we wanna take that right parenthesis because we can be sure that there's a left parenthesis to close it. Otherwise, if there's no left parenthesis that closes it at this point, then taking this right parenthesis would be invalid. So that means that we need to add a left parenthesis here to close this right parenthesis. Otherwise, obviously a parenthesis, a right parenthesis can't be closed by a left parenthesis that comes after it. It has to be before it. So that's why we need to insert a parenthesis at that point because we know that there's no, you know, left parenthesis that could have closed it at that point if our count is less uh, greater than or equal to left count. So that's the reason why we are adding one here instead of incrementing the right count. So we're gonna say added plus equals one because we need to increment um, the added at this point because we need to add that left parenthesis. And that's really all you have to do uh, for the actual processing. Now, remember, we need to t uh, add the difference between left count and right count because we were taking left parentheses uh, greedily um, because we didn't know whether or not they would be closed by a right parenthesis later down in the string. Now we can account for the fact that we have taken extra left parentheses, if we have even taken extra left parentheses, um, and add them back in at the end. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna say added, we're gonna add to added the difference between L count and right count, right? Because if they're the same now and our string is fine, then obviously, you know, the two numbers minus the, each other is just going to be zero. So we're not really adding anything to zero. In the case that L count equals R count, it's only when left count is actually greater than R count. And remember, it's impossible for R count to be greater than left count because we never take a right parenthesis when, you know, uh, R count is less than or greater than or equal to L count. We only append to added. So R count will always be strictly less than left count. So we don't have to worry about some sort of like negative number being added here. If we do an addition here, it will always be positive. So the last thing we need to do is simply return added and we can submit our solution and we shall see that it works. So what is the time and space complexity for this algorithm? Well, we need to go from left to right uh, um, through our string and process every single character in it. So this is just gonna be a pretty standard big O of N operation where you know we are bounded by you know the size of S. So that's just gonna be a big O of N uh, runtime. And for the space complexity, we're not actually defining any sort of data structures. We just have three kind of uh, you know, placeholder values, which are just holding the integer counts for left count, right count, and added. Uh, those are all gonna be constant space allocations. So we're not actually using any space here. It's just gonna be a constant space allocation. And you know, that's gonna be your most optimal algorithm. You cannot do better than this. Um, and this is, you know, what your interviewer is looking for. So hopefully you enjoyed this solution video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If there's any videos you'd like me to make or topics you'd like me to cover or interview tips or anything like that, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to make these videos for you guys, but I just need to know what you wanna see so I can go ahead and make the video. That being said, um, good luck with your elite coding preparation and bye.